was it. Nice. About how many rounds do we put through our guns between cleanings? About a thousand? About a thousand rounds. So these guns take a beating. And they've had that since the last cleaning. There's seven. Oh, seven. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. This is a really hard one. Throw two clays, first one from the hip, then transition to the back to shoot the second one. Does that sound good? Hip to behind the back? Is that what you want to see? All right, let's try it. Nice! <laughs> you don't get to the destination of your choice like our dream was to be pro trick shooters. When you have big dreams and big vision, you don't get there when you give up, when you start to face trials, when you start to face those struggles. That's something that we face regularly and just like in the middle of a live show. Sometimes you're sitting there going, I should not be struggling with this. This should not be difficult. I've done this a thousand times and yet I look like this is my first time. But if it's something you truly want and you're focused on it and you want to keep going after it, you'll persevere, and you'll fight through the messy middle to get to that destination. I just want you guys to remember that, because once you have dreams that are worth pursuing, there's going to be a messy middle that you have to get past or ultimately get to where you want to go. Hey, what's up, everyone? Ghoul Brothers here. We're down in Thomasville, Georgia. We just put on our first live exhibition of the year. Still haven't picked up. Made, made quite the mess. Made some mayhem. We come down to the Florida Georgia line last few years to get in some practice. It's still cold and snowy up in Minnesota. So we like to get down, get some practice in, put on our first live show. We're feeling good. Get but our as we, first sunburn of the year. First Aaron's first sunburn. I've been in Hawaii and California. No sunburn for me. Anyways, so we put out on YouTube a video where we were shooting the M1 Garand out at Shot Show Media Day. And a gentleman commented and said, I have one if you'd ever like to shoot one. And we thought, uh, yeah, we'd like to shoot one, absolutely. And then we made the video where we said that we're coming down to the Florida Georgia line. And he said, I am going to be very close to where you guys are at. Would you like to shoot the M1 Garand? We said, yeah, absolutely. So we have here, come on up, Shane from Valdosta, Valdosta, Georgia. Valdosta, Georgia, which is just down the road from us here in Thomasville where we're at. He brought his M1 Garand, 30 nice. odd six. Now tell us a little bit about this gun. So this one was made in uh, 43, so it did serve a little time. Uh, I got mine through the CMP, which is a special grade. And basically they take it apart, fix it, change whatever needs to be changed, and send it out to whoever needs it. That's awesome. So what do you have over your shoulder here? Uh, this is a bandolier. It just holds 10 end block clips, fully loaded up, ready to go. All right, so you're fully loaded and we're ready to shoot? Yeah, let's do it. All right. So let me, let me get this right. This M1 Garand was used in World War II. Yes. And uh, it's... The, well, the receiver has. The receiver. The receiver's original. The stock has been... Changed. Uh, barrel's been changed. Uh, all the insides, you know. That is really cool. Well, I'm excited to shoot this gun. Uh, let's set up some targets and do some shooting, huh? Let's do it. All right, Aaron's setting up some targets downrange, and we're going to get to shooting. Got a couple young fellas here that were at the show. Say hi, boys. Hey, guys. Now, you guys were at the show. What was the best part? I think the everything where he threw up the balloons and or he threw or, up the yeah the skeet. skeet where he threw up the skeet and then he shot one then shot all the balloons or all four of the balloons and then shot the skeet that was both First of your try, favorite parts that was, that was pretty cool and the everything about it was really cool all right so today we're just going to do some plinking just have a little bit of fun but eventually we'd like to do some trick shots with this gun we want to hear your comments, your ideas on what you would like to see as far as trick shots. So comment below, let us know. And thumbs up too, right? And thumbs up, <laughs> absolutely. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed for crying out loud. Now obviously anytime you shoot a rifle in the air, you've got to know how far it travels. And what will this travel, Aaron? Miles, potentially. Six, seven miles. So keep that in mind if you ever shoot a rifle, you've got to have a safe distance for it to shoot. I'm going to keep this one low, see if I can blow up some vegetables. Right through it. Right through it, huh? Look at that. I thought it'd blow up more. Right through it. How about an apple? Let's see what happens to an apple. Boom! See ya. Not as powerful as a shotgun. A shotgun blows them up.
Oh man, this is so much fun and What's we are we are burning through a lot of ammo. I mean, I'm not complaining. Uh, I'm just gonna dump this clip. See how fast, how many rounds in this clip? Eight rounds in a clip. I got a little lid set out there. Let's see if I can dump eight rounds into it. If not, speed's our number one priority. 30 odd sec, here we go. Goodbye lid, just as I expected. Interesting. We're gonna have to get one of these, Aaron. We gotta stop saying it and get one. Hey Shane, Shane, come on, come on in here. What is the best way to get an M1 Garand? All right, so you go to cmp.org. That's just a civilian membership program. Uh, you gotta have a membership with them through either military or I believe the NRA still counts with them. And then you send in an application. Uh, so if you're an NRA member, yep, that that they will classify. Accept it. Okay. You gotta show uh, Which y'all should be if you're not. Yeah. And then um, a couple weeks from then, they'll send it straight to your house. Perfect. No questions asked. You don't have to send it to anyone with an FFL license. And ball, I know price certain can. States, certain states too. Price can really vary. Yes. Depending uh, on. So they have snapping mods, which can be in the thousands. This one is a special grade, so it's about $830, which it could go up anytime. Uh, they, have, they just got a bunch of new records, so expect some. Awesome. I love it. Well, I could keep shooting, but I better let Aaron play a little bit or he's going to get jealous. I, Shane, do you think he could actually do this? Oh, yeah. You think so? I think you guys can both do it. I don't Shane, know. Shane's got the faith in me. Steve. Let's see. This is a tough shot. I do not have faith that you're not going to hit me in the back of the head. You need to be over here or over there. Just Ready? Oh! Yeah. Nailed it! Woo! Hold on. There we go. <laughs> With an M1 Grand, hey. a clay out of the air. Well, you can definitely tell that it's Shane's gun. It took us a couple rounds to try and hit anything out there at that 100-yard mark, but first shot, you just nailed it. Yep. Nice shooting. Thanks. H how many rounds do you have through that gun? Uh, about seven, 800. Okay. Yep. Well, a little practice. A little practice. I have a feeling that with seven, 800 rounds of one we get ours, we'll be hit a thing or two. Maybe. Think so? Maybe. I, I forgot to mention, Shane is a part of our armed forces. Air Force, correct? Yep. Thank you so much for your service. Thank you. We pleasure. appreciate it. All right, let's see what else we can shoot. All right, we got a couple youngsters here that couldn't couldn't stand just watching. They want to shoot. All right, we got Stone. How old are you, Stone? Eleven. Eleven years old, about to shoot the M1 Garand 30 odd six. You ready? Acorn squash, right out get, front. Get those Ac seven. Acorn squash. And don't you ever come back, as Tom Knapp would have said. <laughs> oh, That's that is, fun. That is too much That's fun. That's a part of America right there. Hey, uh, this is a very prominent gun used in World War II by the Allies. Both of our grandparents served in World War II. I don't know if you had any family members that did. No. Um, just a really cool thing, a piece of our American heritage, history, I should say. Um, Shane, thank you so much for bringing this out, man. We appreciate it. Definitely. Uh, thanks for suggesting on YouTube yeah, that we come shoot with you. And just so you guys know, it might not always happen, but if we're in your neck of the woods and you want to do some fun shooting, you got some cool things like this, we just might stop by and say hi. Well, thanks again for coming oh, yeah. out. Appreciate it, Shane. No problem. Hey, guys, comment below. What trick shots would you like to see us do with an M1 Garand? We'll be doing a whole lot more shooting in the near future when we own one. This was just too fun. That was. Till next time. Remember, it's impossible to hit the shots you never take. So keep pulling that trigger and shoot for your dreams. See ya. See you later.